Welcome to this new episode of our base clinic. It's been a while and uh, last time I did a video was only about how to defend against revenges. So I thought I'd update it on how to defend against revenge fleets, vendetta fleets and both and mixed fleets, all of them. There's a, a balance you can strike. So let's take a look at each one of the steps before I show you an actual hit on my base and how each one of these elements will work together to counter uh, incoming. So one thing these hulls both have in common and pretty much all the Conqueror hulls released so far is they all have the blood bloodthirst ability and that's something again to deny as I said in the last video you need to minimize the number of buildings in the rim of your base so delete resource gens, delete radio tower uh, if you don't use it uh, move as many buildings as you can to the center of your base so by the time they face your guard and they're in the channel, they're still not maxed out on the bloodthirst and especially for the revenges, their, their deflection is not as high against concussive uh, damage, which is one of the main damage types you want to use against them, as well as radio. So in the front line, the main weapon against the revenges are the scatter gun turrets, both the basilisk, which is more common, and the draconian scatter gun. Both of them do a lot of damage against the Revengers and should be in your front line. Uh, the Draconian Scattergun does more damage and uses less power when compared to the Basilisk, but both are effective, especially if you manage to hit the Revengers before they get full corrosive deflection uh, from the Bloodthirst. Um, you can outrange them with Revengers if you drive carefully, but especially if it's already in your channel, most likely they'll be just taking fire from uh, executioners and other sources. So they don't want to waste a lot of time. So these are turrets in my base. I, I, I try to get these ones to level seven before anything else. I'm not all the way there yet, but th these are my priority, getting them to level seven and using the AT transformer, which greatly increases their damage. The other key component in your front line are rocket turrets. Uh, they will kill vendettas if the vendettas are leading the charge. Uh, you can use the frostbite or the cold snap. The cold snap is a limited turret with better range. So uh, it's about 140. So you can actually put that in your central island and still reach channel. Uh, the frostbite has less range 105, but still outranges the vendettas. And they do actually more damage than the cold snap and you can have more than one. So that's a good combo. Uh, put some of them over there, like the one on the left that does over 20,000 damage. It's the frostbite that can kill a vendetta really fast since they have absolutely no explosive defense at all. Uh, to make them fire faster and hit faster, uh, use eruption pyre and xenthium shells. These are the best specials. And actually the transformer here, you can either use the AT and do even more damage or you can use the ATR and have more range. I I'm still in doubt which one I'm going to use. None of my turrets here are level seven yet. So if people have their opinion, please share. Uh, the other thing they do, they have a, a, a debuff there on Vendetta's field, meaning if a Vendetta is coming in alone and gets hit by a cold snap or a frostbite the aura the ge the field they generate to disappear for a few seconds two seconds for the cold snap five seconds if uh, sorry five seconds for the cold snap two seconds for the frostbite and that means if they're using the capacitor to buff their damage by 36 percent for those seconds that buff is gone so now the mortars they chuck during that time or rockets will do less damage so this is a very good thing to have in your front line along with the scatter gun. So this way you balance defense against both vendettas and revenges. So now let's look at long range options. So first of all, against the revenges, the long range turret you need are executioners or dead eye executioners. Uh, you need quite a number of them. So I usually tell people to have like five or six of them. Some people have even more. Uh, Use the attack transformer once you get the turrets to level seven. And the best specials are fi fire support M 
and thermobaric shells so these two will increase damage range a little bit the key on this turret so it actually hurts the revenge is surround it with as many fire support tactical modules as you can so if you see this one here i took my screenshot from from my base it has a, a damage buff of 55 percent on top of the 17,000 it already does here so that hurts the revenges a lot they don't really last long in my channel when they have six of those firing at them at the same time not all of them are level seven but i'm, I'm getting there so and even now I, I i mostly kill every fleet that that comes my way not all of them but about 90 percent which for me is good enough at this point The other turret you need in your central island are APOC mortars. Uh, they will hurt the vendettas if they stop. What I see is that if the vendettas keep moving, they'll never be hit by APOCs. But it forces them to keep moving. That's the key point, even if they never hit. Because it means the vendettas will drive towards your guard, where hopefully you have cannon ships or you have a rocket ship or something that will hurt them real fast. So... I'd say three or four of them in the central island, chucking mortars out and putting fire fields. And that means vendettas can never stop. So it forces them to, to go into range of your ships. If you don't have APOC mortars, I know some people don't, an alternative is to put a citadel or two in your guard at the back. So the remote range will be triggered by whatever ships you have front line in your guard and works the same the mortars won't hit but it will force them to keep moving because if they don't move they'll die real fast if you don't have apox uh, another option is to use a ballistic long-range turret like ballistas javelins or dead eye ballistas uh, again if the attacker is moving uh, sideways in relation in relation to your turret they will miss especially because vendettas are really fast but if the ships are moving towards the turret, they'll hit and they'll hit any other ships behind it, immediately behind it. Uh, so they're effective. I mean, I don't think they're as good or do, do as much damage as the mortars, but they hit faster. Um, and with those two specials, the DU Shells 3 and the EM Rails, uh, you get a decent damage out of them, 3000 per shot, plus whatever you get from the tactical uh, fire support modules and you have a good chance of doing critical hits with the em rail 3 special and each critical hit adds 200 percent to the damage so pretty much triples that damage from 3000 to 9000 so it can be a killer um, these turrets are easier to get so if you don't have apoc mortars there's one of the campaigns uh where the draconians attack your base where you can get the regular ballistas from there and the javelins from an easier campaign uh for lower levels so it, it's an interesting option. Again, put three or four of them in the central island, and the main goal of this turret is to keep the, the vendettas moving. And if they stop, they'll get hurt. In the central island, the key tactical modules to have are fire support two. Uh, you put a bunch of them covering the same turrets, and you can get, like some people got up to 90% uh, extra damage. I, I got 55% best case, which is has been doing the job. Uh, the other special you may want if you're able to do tier 5 in Forsaken Mission is the overloaded uh, reload mechanism. Uh, that one will give a triple solve every 60 seconds, which is particularly nasty uh, if you put your executioners around the outpost. You can put two turrets on each side of the OP. So I managed to put six. Uh, depending on your layout, you, you might be able to put eight turrets around it and all of them will benefit from the, the triple salvo every minute. Ships uh, you should place in your guard. Uh, so thinking again about both revenge and vendettas, let's first looking at the revenge. Uh, radioactive can damage them, so vanquishers and enforcers are a good choice, especially with the new launcher uh, that can overcome the deflection, the radioactive deflection in the revenge. Uh, it's a great choice. You can use a revenge with Gatling guns as well. So, you, you know, it, it, it's going to have the same range as the attacker revenges, but 
you don't need to deal with walls. So put it behind thick walls and uh, you have an advantage there. Heavy cruiser with corrosive heavy missiles from last year. Not a lot of people have those, but they work well if the revenges ever stop. Uh, and Tiger Shark with Cobra Guns. I mean, that's a nasty trick that I've seen a lot of people doing because currently none of these two ships have thermal, so you can hide the Tiger Sharks in there and they'll fire even while they're underwater, which makes it very tricky for the attacker to advance or stop or come or, or turn back. I mean, it usually confuses the attacker. So it's a very effective little tool. I guess the Vendettas... Uh, Cannons usually kill them real fast. They Again, they have zero ballistic deflection or resistance. So a Gamma Behemoth uh, will do a lot of damage. You put some Marbleless or Crossbow Tree. Uh, if you don't have the Gamma B, uh, Punishers will do the trick. And I say Punishers because they have a decent deflection, same number of specials. So the only thing you don't have there is the bonuses for anti-mortars and you need anti-mortars in your guard so the black rain from the vendettas won't kill you as fast some will get through no matter what you do but uh still you just need to resist long enough to kill the spotter right uh citadels are again very good because of force the vendettas to move otherwise the the judgment or whatever mortar you choose to put on your citadels will, will make uh quick work of them you could use Vendettas if you don't have Citadels on your base guard. The problem is uh, Daisy Cutters will kill them real fast unless they're covered by those anti-launch pad rocket turrets. Most people don't have them. So, you know, I'd rather go Citadel than Vendetta. The Omega B or the regular Behemoth, they can be used. They work as well. They'll kill the Vendettas real fast, but they have no deflection. So any mortar that makes true or Gatling gun will kill them really, really fast. The other good trick people are using some carriers, old drag carriers, atlases, Valkyries with explosive UAVs. They can also kill the Vendettas really fast. And I've seen like in a matter of just a few seconds. Um, so that's it uh, in terms of guard ships. If you're looking for ideas, again, I, I usually don't like providing people with uh, ship builds for guards because it depends a lot on your base layout, the turrets you have, uh, the technology you have. But here are two ideas for two high-end ships, the Gamma Behemoth and the Vanquisher. Uh, I made a video the other day discussing this build for the Vanquisher, very similar to this one. Um, you know... But again, and the Behemoth, uh, if you don't have the Gamma, that same ship can be built almost identically using a Punisher, just with less uh, armor plates, but same number of specials and weapons. Um, and, and reuse old ships. You don't need to build a guard, a dedicated guard, if you're still catching up on more important things like FM or Raid and, and or next Raid cycle. Uh, just reuse some old ships. I put a Frostburn Interceptor. I still have one in my guard. Use a DNX if you don't have a Citadel. You know, a heavy cruiser, like I said, with heavy missiles work. Uh, Drac Draconian Carrier with explosive UAVs. This all work. And if you've been playing for a while, you may have them on your shipyard. You know, and, and they will work along with the turrets very well together. I'm going to show you how my base did against the fleet of Vendettas recently. This was just this weekend after I got my Gamma B ranked, Scold. The attacker here chose to prepare some frontline turrets that I had in there. Uh, he couldn't do much because of the level 14 warehouses right at the entrance, uh, so he had to retreat before my base bubbled. Um, and, and then he repaired on map and now he's attacking me again. Uh, I have a crew, as you can see, and I recommend you use Junkyard Dogs as much as you can. Now, there you can see how the Apox are falling right behind him, which forces him to keep moving, otherwise his ship will die real fast. The damage the Vendetta took right at the entrance of the channel came from the Cold Snap turret, that's in the Central Island. And now, as soon as he gets in range of 
the gamma B, which has the cannons, right? Uh, it kills his vendetta really fast. So here goes the second one. He's going to repeat that again. Uh, as you can see, the executioners don't really do much against his vendettas. They're designed to resist that kind of fire. Um, there's no more frontline turrets. The vendettas can't reach the central island from there, so they got to keep going there. So now you see the cold snap firing. His vendetta took some damage. Uh, the dead eye ballistas firing as well, but mostly it misses. The apox will make him move, and now he gets in range of the Gamma B and you see how fast his Vendetta dies. In the meantime, the Gales hold back some of the mortars, not all of them, of course, but the resistance given by both the crew and the resistance and deflection in the ship make sure it lasts for a long time. So that's now Vendetta number three going in. And by the way, he tried during preparation to position his Vendettas on the other corners of my base. He couldn't do it because the Apox fire both on the northeast and the northwest of the base, so that's the only spot he can park without being fired at by Apox. And now what you see is a repeat where his Vendetta takes damage from the Code Snap again and will again take quick, pretty much be destroyed in a matter of seconds by the, the Gamma B. And now every time it's less mortars coming in, and even though the Gamma B can't resist them all, uh, or kill them all, right, with the countermeasures, it's enough to keep the ships alive. So at this point with only two ships, and, and, and my cannon ship is alive and well, and in the meantime he parked his ship in a bad spot, because the ballistas firing at him non-stop, and he didn't realize that at this point. So it's a, it's a bad place to park over there because the cannon will damage his vendettas real fast. So there he goes again. And these are three arbalests, two crossbow trees and one bypass chain gun. At this point, I think he's pretty much ready to give up. He will move his last chip now. So the ballista will stop hurting him. You see, didn't do much, but probably took, what, 10-15% of his health right there. And that's it.